Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. We're here to talk about how to calculate the percentage in mathematics. Now, there's one strategy that you want to use for sure, and then the last steps is really kind of up to you as to how you want to do it. There's a couple of things to think about, but let's convert a number to a percentage, and uh, you'll see how this process works. Now, for example, if you want to convert one-fourth to a percentage, there's a one easy way to do it is, what number is it out of 100? Because when it comes to percentages, we think about 100%, 50%, but one thing is, think about how to, what is it out of 100? So you want to think about four times what number is going to be 100? Well, four times 25 is going to be 100. But as you know, to convert it to an equivalent fraction, if you multiply the bottom by a number, you have to multiply the top by a number as well. So one times 25, that's going to give you 25 over 100. Now, you can think of it as immediately, any number over 100 can be thought of as that number percent, or you can think of that as 0.25, and you can either multiply by 100 to get 25%, or you can shift the decimal two places to the right, and that'll also give you 25%. Now, you may think to yourself, what happens if you have a fraction that's not multiply evenly into 100? Well, that's where long division is going to be very important. Just go ahead and divide the numerator by the denominator, put the decimal where they need to be, and then either multiply by 100 or shift the decimal places two places to the right, and you'll have the corresponding percentage. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and those are some tips on how to calculate percentages in mathematics.